Elon Musk unveiled plans for Hyperloop in August 2013, a revolutionary mode of public transport that promised to be faster than planes, weather-resistant, and powered by renewable energy. Despite multiple organizations working on the concept, will it ever become a reality or remain a futuristic dream? The concept of high-speed transportation using vacuum tunnels predates Elon Musk. English mechanical engineer George Medhurst patented a railway system in 1799 that used pressurized tubes to transport passengers and cargo. This idea evolved into various inventions, such as the vac train, atmospheric rail, and pneumatic railway, which eventually led to Musk's Hyperloop. The common principle is the use of an evacuated tube or tunnel to reduce friction and air resistance, enabling transportation at hypersonic speeds. Musk's Hyperloop is based on the concept of using a sealed tube or tunnel running in a partial vacuum to minimize drag and allow high-speed travel. Passengers would travel in specially designed pressurized pods, and terminals would handle the flow of passengers to and from the pods. Musk's proposed track, outlined in the 2013 white paper Hyperloop Alpha, would run from Los Angeles to San Francisco, cutting the usual six-hour drive to just over half an hour with a projected top speed of more than 1,200 km per hour. Other companies have proposed routes, including the boring companies Washington, D.C. to New York, Hyperloop 1 Chicago to Columbus to Pittsburgh, Transpods Calgary to Edmonton, and Hyperloop TT's Abu Dhabi to Dubai. While the technology has potential, significant hurdles remain, including regulatory approval, financing, and technical challenges such as maintaining a near-vacuum environment and passenger safety. In 2013, Elon Musk unveiled his plans for Hyperloop, a revolutionary transportation system that would transport pressurized pods in evacuated tubes, cutting down travel time significantly. Musk encouraged others to build upon his ideas, and SpaceX even released the Hyperloop Alpha design as an open-source project. By 2015, SpaceX had opened a test track and sponsored an annual design competition for organizations and universities to test their pod designs. One of the major players in Hyperloop development is Hyperloop One, formerly known as Virgin Hyperloop One. Founded in 2014, the company has made significant technical changes to Musk's initial design, but the core concept of transporting pods in evacuated tubes remains the same. By October 2016, they had completed a 500-meter test track in Nevada, and in July 2017, they revealed their first prototype pod, XP-1, which set a world speed record for Hyperloop technologies. However, critics have pointed out that Hyperloop 1's accomplishments are a far cry from what the Hyperloop was originally imagined to be. The top speeds achieved by their experimental pods never came close to the theoretical 1,200 km per hour, and the company has shifted its focus to cargo transport, laying off more than half of its staff. Nonetheless, Hyperloop One's development and testing of the technology have been crucial in advancing the Hyperloop concept toward becoming a reality. Hyperloop Transport Technologies, Hyperloop TT, is a research company that aims to develop commercial transport systems based on Elon Musk's Hyperloop concept. Although it is not as advanced in its development as Hyperloop One, Hyperloop TT has achieved notable accomplishments in the field. It is home to the world's only full-scale Hyperloop test track, located in Toulouse, France, and has developed a full-scale Hyperloop passenger capsule called the Quintero One. Hyperloop TT also plans to create a high-speed freight and cargo system called the Hyperport in Hamburg, Germany, which will utilize autonomous systems and vehicles to transfer containers across different ports connected by vacuum-sealed tracks. The company has also reached an agreement with Abu Dhabi to develop a Hyperloop system that would connect the city with Dubai. However, despite these achievements and agreements, Hyperloop TT has yet to make Musk's Hyperloop concept a reality. While the company is fully committed to creating a Hyperloop system, its progress toward that goal remains to be seen. 
Elon Musk's The Boring Company and Hyperloop technology have garnered significant attention in recent years, although progress has been limited. The Boring Company was founded in 2016 with the aim of developing intercity transit systems called loops. These underground tunnels would transport autonomous electric vehicles, dubbed skates, at high speeds. One such system, the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop, opened in 2021, but was met with criticism for falling short of Musk's initial promises. Instead of autonomous skates ferrying passengers between stations, the completed system consisted of two parallel tunnels that Teslas could drive through. Moreover, Teslas got stuck in a traffic jam underground, negating the whole idea of bypassing surface-level traffic. Despite this setback, the Boring Company has indicated its continued interest in the Hyperloop concept. Reports suggest that the company aims to expand its Las Vegas loop system and improve its technology. On the other hand, Musk's other company, SpaceX, reportedly dismantled its Hyperloop test track at its Hawthorne facility, leading to speculation about Musk's commitment to the project. However, the boring company recently tweeted pictures of what appears to be a new full-scale testing track, indicating that Musk is still interested in developing the technology. Hyperloop faces many inherent challenges that have hindered its progress. For instance, it is a major challenge to maintain a near-perfect vacuum over hundreds of kilometers in underground tunnels. Even a small leak could bring the entire system to a halt. Additionally, critics argue that passengers traveling inside a small pod accelerating at near supersonic speeds through a narrow underground tunnel would experience extreme noise and discomfort. Furthermore, emergency situations and malfunctions while in the tunnels could be disastrous. Finally, Musk's projected cost of less than six billion U.S. dollars for the proposed Los Angeles to San Francisco route has been criticized as severely underestimating the actual costs of creating such a system. Despite these challenges, there is still potential for Hyperloop technology to reshape the future of transportation, and Musk seems to be fully committed to developing it. What are your thoughts on the potential of the Hyperloop to become the future of transportation? Will it remain a mere concept, or will it eventually become practically feasible? We would love to hear your opinions, so feel free to share them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to Wonderful Stories. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.